Rated M for Main Stage News. How's it going, guys? This is Main Stage News. Today, I want to talk about Woody's Gamer Tags video saying, you know, why is there hate Call of Duty? This isn't really going to be me saying why there is hate surrounding Call of Duty. I'm going to be more responding to kind of the analogy that he made between, like, ice hockey and a video game. But before I get into that, I do want to touch on this gameplay. This is obviously 2v2, me and my buddy, who he's a legend at sniping. He's ridiculously good at it. But this is kind of me and him beating up on some split screeners, spawn trapping him. It turned out pretty bad for them they ended up leaving if they didn't leave i'm guessing both of us would have ended up getting a moab in a 2v2 which would have been ridiculous but back on topic let's go ahead and get started first off i do want to say that i do love woody's videos i have absolutely no problem with them this isn't going to be like a hate woody video i'm not doing this to kind of troll him or anything like that i watch just about every single one of his videos so please by no means don't try to get that idea out of this video but for those of you who did not see this video and want to know what i'm talking about with his analogy and all that he basically made a comparison between ice hockey in a video game call of duty obviously he said that like when i go and play ice hockey i don't expect the rules to change i want it to be exactly the same that i played it last time i mean i'd 100 percent agree with that if i go play a pickup basketball game with my buddies i expect the rules to be exactly the same as last time i'd get kind of frustrated and mad at my friends if they decided to change the rules every single time but to say why don't people expect that same exact thing from a video game doesn't make a lot of sense because unless you're like doing a sport for college or high school you're only gonna do that sport a couple times a week you know pick up games with your friends or whatever you're not spending like a whole lot of time devoting your spare time to that sport or whatever so if I go down and play a pickup basketball game with my friends a couple times a week down at the park I expect the rules to be exactly the same as last time but a video game that's like a whole different animal you can't compare a sport to a video game as far as like the rules and stuff go because many people like spend five six hours a day just about every single day until the next entry into the cause series comes so for you to say that people shouldn't expect change in between each cod it just didn't really make sense to me i mean at first when i watched the video it kind of made sense to me and i kind of followed it but then i actually thought about it a little longer then i figured this analogy really doesn't make much sense at all because if people are going to spend you know all of their spare time devoting part of their life to this video game they don't want the exact same thing next year it gets boring as crap if they have the exact same thing like year after year so here's the analogy i like to use to compare call of duty to something that everybody would kind of know. Microsoft Word is kind of like the document typing program that everybody wants to be. Every year they come out with a new program for themselves, say like Word 2014. That program I guarantee isn't going to be a whole lot different from Word 2012. It's going to have a little bit different format, maybe a couple new features in it, but overall it's basically the exact same thing. It doesn't need to change a lot to be like an insanely good program. And if they did just completely change a program upside down on its head, people would probably be pretty mad about it. It wouldn't work the way they wanted to. And that's the message I think you're kind of trying to send to your viewers, Woody. That if they make this great change that everybody is crying for, people probably aren't going to like it that much. But the thing that they want, that they don't know that they want, they want it to evolve. They want it to slowly change into this amazing game, even more amazing than our first experience with Call of Duty 4. That's the message I think you're really trying to send out. But that is about it for this video, you guys. If you guys did like the video, don't be afraid to hit that like button. If you have something to say, drop that comment below. I'd like to hear it. And if you enjoyed this video and like to see more just like it, hit that subscribe button and you get just set. But one more thing, I really would appreciate it if you guys could try to get this video kind of viewed by Woody if you guys felt it was a good video, if it made sense to you. I really would appreciate it if my viewers could try to kind of send it out to Woody, tweet it at him, whatever. But as always, have a great day, guys. Thanks. Bye.